this point, um, since the other reasons I've uh, been on the, you know, uh, current feedback, but, uh, yeah, so today we had the meeting set up for the underground warehouse um, venue that my friend Sandra had helped us out with, and so I haven't been able to get held back. Uh, and um, this meeting that he wanted, and this is a, uh, you know, he needed, he wanted this venue and all this shit, and um, you know, he uh, didn't even care to text me back or call me, so I hit him up. And about an hour before the meeting, and he said that like, he was busy, he had to go to the hardware store first. So those are the type of people that um, I was dealing with. Um, unfortunately, Zach is no longer, I'm no longer going to work with him. This is about the third time that he's done some, like, excuse the stupid shit, uh, whatever. That's on him, um, the show must go on. Um, I still, it's 25 days till the show, and I've had zero contributions. Um... So, I mean, all I want the contribution for is to be able to press the CD so everybody can get a copy of the CD and what I sell, donate back into the community. Um, if I have to just release it online, that's what I'll do. I'll just release it for free online, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind that at all. Um, this is more about helping our community and trying to do a fun project and something like uh, just get back from my appreciation still being alive. But, um, yeah, so... Jack's out. I'm gonna go ahead and post an update on <clears throat> GoFundMe and social media and see. I have to do this every day up until the show, and then tomorrow I'll probably. I'm, I'm, I've just been rehearsing on my own. Tomorrow I'll just. Um, I'll be rehearsing pretty much on my own up until the day of the show. And um, and then I'll have a couple of rehearsals, full band rehearsals with the, um, with the other artists, musicians that are gonna come join me. And I still have no event. Yeah. Reporting live from KDAU on copyright laws and infringement. This newscast is for you. Here reporting live on the scene is Chris Dow. Chris! Yes, thank you, sir. Um, how are you doing? Um, this is breaking news in today. Um, we have an alleged person that is out um, the loose in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, he is this person as described in this picture. Um, he is about six feet tall. Um, he's wearing a hat, has lips open, and, and is apparently up. wearing clothes that do not belong to him. Um, he has been charged with copyright infringement. Um, unfortunately, uh, this is a very serious crime. The use of works produced by copyright without any attrition, permission, infringement, certain exclusive grants granted by the copyright holder, such the right to reproduce, distribute, display or perform protected work may take the loss on you. Um, it's really sad to see this Chuck. You know, every day we're trying to become more of our community here in Las Vegas. And instead of, um, you know, trying to help each other out, we have these suspects out that are just trying to um, attack people. And by attack, I mean forms more than just physical. Now it's a psychological warfare that's going on there, Chuck. And what, what? Hold on, I'm just getting some breaking information. Apparently, um, YouTube has been contacted by um, this uh, Zachary Lyle um, Blues, and this, apparently this person is um, making false accusations about owning um, property that is not his artistic and intellectual property. Now, this is really sad, Chuck, to see that humans have became this sad of beings. Um, apparently, this person is not mentally well. Um, he needs help. Um, we have actually received video clips and information where he is asking for mental health and he needs um, to go to a hospital. 
So this is very serious, Chuck. Um, you know, I'm a local advocate for mental health and it's getting out of hand, Chuck. We really need to get a hold of the authorities and make sure these type of people aren't out on the loose. There's a lot of hardworking artists out there that are creating every day and want to inspire people and they want to make lives better. And these are the type of people that are just criminals. They're criminals. Um, they did not create any content. They did not produce any content. Possibly they want to be creators, but unfortunately some people are not unable to finish what they start. Um, Chuck, you know, I can't really say too much, but we'll go ahead and just leave you with this picture of the person. If you see him, make sure to um, never collaborate with him. Do not give him any artistic information and never um, hire him or make any contracts because um, personally, Chuck, uh, I'm also a victim of this crime and this person um, had my video taken off of YouTube. Apparently, he said that he was the owner of the video and um, what I went ahead and did is I re-upload the video so that you guys can go ahead and tune into YouTube. My name is Dana Dow, DNA. Last thing, D-A-U, Dana Dow, and um, I'm from Portals Reporting Live. My first single off of my album after suffering from a long depression, I um, was able to use music to save my life. And people like this don't want me to live. They want to take me down. And Chuck, I'm not a fighting person, but I will not, I will not stand down for this. This is outrageous. Our community must come together and we must unite. These people, these faces, these are talentless artists. They have no content that belongs to them. I am the person in the video. I am the person who wrote the music. And there's literally nothing that this person did. I believe he pressed play on a recorder on um, a still frame cell phone. So I don't believe that makes you an owner of anything um, but a, a lie. So, um, you know, God bless America and hopefully um, God has, you know, some, some, some type of, you know, blessings for this child. Um, he'll be in our prayers. Uh, Dana Dow reporting live from News Anchor K Unit. <laughs>
I the GoFundMe was more to help to ha help the homeless people in the community by selling CDs and reproducing that. But fuck it, let's go new age music. My, I'm, my music's always gonna be free, and I hope that if you do like my music, that you'll pay a few bucks to come to my show and support me in that way, or make a donation, or give me a hug, or just say that you appreciate what I do, or that you understand me, or that you just understand that you're not alone, like, a lot of us aren't alone, even though we feel that way, you know, we live in um, a society that is so disconnected from human nature, that all we seek is a human connection, a real human connection, that's why everybody's online all the time, on social media and everything, because... Nobody talks to each other on the street. Nobody says what's up. Nobody says hello. So, you know, we are a community, man. Like, we're all fucking the human race. Like, no matter color, you know, uh, gender, sexual preference, like, religion, politics. Just, I don't like religion or politics. But whatever it is that makes you happy, I'm cool with that. As long as you, you put out a good vibe and, and you show me love, I'll show you love. I'll always play my heart out for you. So, yeah, I just want to give you a little update on... On this on this video, so I got two videos like knocked out, and the album's not even out yet. Um, oh yeah, update on that. So I got all the artists locked in. Everybody's just like been so kind to me, like just been on board since I've asked them. And this is all the homies since like the past ten years, since I moved to Vegas. Um, you know, all my DJ homies, all the underground homies, homies from my bands. And um, I just, as soon as I told them about, you know, me going solo and finally finding my voice and singing, this is really special and important to me because I've always felt that I've needed to collaborate with other singers because I wasn't good enough. And I might not be the best singer, but I sing from my heart. And I finally found my voice and I'm comfortable with that. And more than anything, I'm comfortable with the message that I'm giving is, uh, you know, just being vulnerable and being real and telling the truth. And like, I don't really give a fuck what people think about me. I don't care if somebody thinks that I'm a pussy because I'm talking about love or about being lonely. We all feel that, you know? People don't have to front about that stuff. All that other shit's fake, dude. Like, we're all humans and we're all built the same way. Yeah, some people don't have as much emotion as others. Others are more oversensitive. But, I you know, I'm going to represent everybody that's the undertow, the outcasted. You know, I grew up a band geek. I grew up just, like, isolated. You know, um, very little friends. So music was... The only thing that I really had that's always been a constant in my life, that's always been with me regardless if I, when I was homeless or had family around or had a dollar or not. So luckily I've had plenty of donations of love and of like gear because I didn't have any gear since the beginning of the year. Like it's just, it's, it's been like a battle, you know, the universe wants to keep pushing me down and I'm fucking pushing back even harder. So the show's um, scheduled to be on the 25th. I have a couple venues in line. I got a great ensemble of musician, uh, uh, musicians playing with me. Um, I'll be leading. Uh, I got um, a Marlos Amartes on the violin, and she'll also be using her pedals, give like a little cello effect. Um, I have Steve, Steve Walker. He's going to go uh, do some live percussions for me on a couple tracks. And the infamous, famous... Um, rock star uh, Justin Anderson, Sojourner. Everybody knows Sojourner. He's everywhere, every day. That fool does not take a day off from playing, whether if he's busking still on the strip or he's at fucking Dre's nightclub, day club. Like, he does everything. That fool, man, I want to be like him. Like, he's a, he's probably my one of my greatest local inspirations. So, shout out to you, you know, and, and Morrow and, 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 you know, Steve and everybody, dude. Like, you know, um, um, Mondo, Armando Camona, Ryan Campbell gives me a bunch of production software like 10 years ago. And because of that, I was able to be where I'm at now, which, um, for many people not, might not seem like it's very far up there, but I'm finding myself to be in a happy, peaceful place now. You know, and just anything that doesn't serve me or serve you in your life, just cut it out, get rid of it. You know, like, I'd rather have one, two, three fre friends that I know that are real and that are going to be there for me and support me than have a no hundred people are going to talk shit and flake, you know. So, everything that I need to do, I'm going to do on my own. Everybody's capable of doing the same thing. You need to make your own dream happen. Um, so, my next step is I'm, I'm mastering film, Adobe Premiere and Illustrator. I have a little bit of knowledge. So
starting out really basic, but I'm really proud of this music video that I made. Um, I shared a little something on, online, but um, again, it's not, I'm just not, I'm just going to keep making more and more, and I'm going to po post it, update it. Um, I'm going to be starting doing live music sessions on YouTube, so I'm going to start my little YouTube page. If I have a page, I'm going to start getting a following, and you guys can just see what I do and how I do it. You know, I'm making sure you have happy with the most minimal happy year, but I mean, if you want to, you can make shit happen like you need to, you know, so I really appreciate everybody, thank you so much for, you know, being